Welcome to the third and final week of the Tour 21. The team have faced some gruelling ascents over the last few days, including the climb that Geraint Thomas dubbed the hardest he's done at the Tour de France and the iconic Col de Tourmalet. With Paris now in sight, let's see how the Tour 21 got on in the Pyrenees. I didn't expect it to be quite as different as it is to the Alps. It feels very, very different. It feels like you're in a completely different country. Climbs, a bit more spiky, we've got a bit more attitude. Yesterday we saw four seasons on one climb. Pyrenees are a different animal. Yeah, it's a different ball game altogether. Feeling extremely fatigued at the moment, I have to say. To be honest, at times I've wanted to fall asleep on the bike. I'm just absolutely exhausted. You could tell from the moment we woke up that there was no banter in break at breakfast, there was no talk on the bus. I think everyone is just exhausted. People are getting very tired, so let's make sure we stay concentrated. We're careful, the damp roads, white lines, a lot of things to think about. The real problem today is it's cold, really cold. We've gone from 30 odd degrees the other day to 12, 13 degrees coming down there. It might not seem a lot, but when you're coming down a 15 plus mile an hour, it's really, really cold. Sorry, I'm, I'm shivering a bit. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm wearing every single piece of clothing I have with me. I think just with the mist and just the general temperature, just being impossible to get warm. Even going up, I've been going up four layers on gloves and then just literally when you start, that's how you know the core body temperature drops and it's just really, really difficult to get you say, your body temperature back up. You get a lot of time when you're on the bike and if your head's not right, day can be really long and for me that was the case. So this morning I gave myself a bit of a talking to. Um, I thought I'm on here for a reason. If it was easy, anybody could do it. So it's meant to be hard and just got my head right. Do you think you've got what it takes to ride the full Tour de France route one week ahead of the pro race in 2022 or 2023 and raise vital funds for cure leukemia? If so, head over to thetour21.com and register your interest today.